Anyway, oh, I'm putting handles on. Um, it's about, some people have asked me before about the exercises that I do to keep my shoulders working properly. Hey, I'm 66, shoulders are an issue. Um, when I'm putting handles on, my arms are kind of against my body here like this. And I, I basically work with my arms up and they're kind of close in. So I'm for a period of an hour, an hour and a half, you know, I'll be, I've got 28 of these to put handles on. My arms are tucked in. Um, I don't get shoulder pain when I'm pulling handles. My arms are stretched up in the air. Um, so it's something about this kind of positioning, I think, in your, your hands um, that basically causes this kind of ache that we get in our shoulders. My wife has a similar uh, ache in her shoulders too. And she does printmaking and drawing and painting uh, where she's doing a lot of sitting at the table and she's using a brayer, uh, not a brayer, what do you call it? The roller anyway, for rolling out inks. Um, uh, and um, so she's got a similar pressure Kind of position is pushing against her shoulders um you know i'm pushing in here not big piece of clay even but uh, because it's repetitive i think that's partly to do with it um so i'm you know it's about you know long periods of time i suppose where your arm is kind of in one position um, here's a little trick on handles i take a little piece of clay and i stick it right in between where the handle is going to be joined to give a slightly increased place of um, contact. So these little bits get wedge shaped when pushed down into where the handle is. And that way it actually uh, has more clay holding the handle in at the bottom, which is generally quite uh, thin where the handle joins at the bottom. It's always a little thicker at the top. You know, that's what I'm talking about, sticker up there. So I snap a little piece off. Push it in the gap at the bottom and that thickens it up a little bit. So yes, I've got the video on putting handles on. I did it about a year and a bit ago when I first started doing videos for YouTube. I did one on putting handles. So it was in the winter months. I think it was dark when I taped it. Uh, and um, but um, so if you want to see exactly how I put handles on, go look back about a year ago. There you go. So that handles on, and then I take the other little ball of clay that I ripped off, made a little wall there, stick it in that part at the top there, and that adds a little bit of clay to that join. Use my stamp to press it in and then I've got that little ball that's kind of like a signature for me I've done that on all my mugs for decades so here's what happens my shoulders ache uh, and, and a nerve sort of gets trapped in my arm and I can feel it pulling all the way down my forearm uh, and it sometimes makes it jump a little bit too. So it's it's just vaguely faintly there most of the time, but you know, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but after a while, this can really start aching, and especially in the evenings if I've been doing a lot of throwing or a lot of handle work. So what I've done after seeing a physical therapist uh, is I have a bunch of these sort of rubber ropes, which I wrap around my hand, and then you extend it so that it's tense a little bit, you know, before you start. And you simply do that. And you've got to pull, you know, squash the paper towel in your arm. And you do this to the point where you've got this, this it's hard, but not hurting you. Uh, so you shouldn't make, this shouldn't be easy to pull. It should be a little bit of stress behind it, you know, tension. And I, I do this 50 times um, that direction. So that's the one thing, but the main thing is keeping your arm tucked against your body down to the elbow 
So it's just the forearm that's swinging in and out, uh, and that helps. And then the other part is this side, so you turn around, and this one's harder, you do that, and you're pulling your arm out. And I wrap it over my thumb to make sure that the, the I'm pulling the shelf a little bit. But basically, you can use your other arm to, t oh, actually, you're supposed to put your left arm behind your back when you're doing this, and you're supposed to tuck your face down a little bit, and all that. So, I mean, but as long as you can feel, but this really helps. And you know, I can only do about 30 of these before it starts to really pull, depending on this tension I've got on the rubber band, of course. But that's the other one. And then another one, this is a little harder, is to get this rubber band so it's tight, but not too tight. You've got to do one to test this as well. So I usually keep it loose. It's called sheathing the sword. So I put my hand in my pocket and I take this and push up and then put the sword back into the scabbard, push up. And he told me to hold it for three seconds there and then pull down again. So basically up and push down again. And this one's quite hard. It hurts a little bit on my shoulder when I'm doing this, but I can do 20, 30 of these easily. And depending on the rubber belt that you're actually stretching, they sell these at the drugstores. But it's actually, that's two of the exercises. Another one, so sit on a chair, put your arm behind your back and have a one or two pound weight in your hand and simply go up, hold it for three seconds and then go up. And that one hurts me. And then down again. And then this one hurts and it clicks in my shoulder. Hold it for three seconds and down again. All right, and I can do a few of those, maybe 10 of them, uh, and then it actually starts to hurt. Um, but, uh, but those three exercises um, seem to be keeping this under control so it doesn't disable me at all. Uh, and for those potters who are 30, you've got something to look forward to.